Back up to 18, Hatton to close out with a birdie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, he's not going to get the win this week, but he will have learnt, oh. learnt something. Oh, geez. Well, he's done that before, hasn't he, Tyrrell Hatton? Another ball in that pond. Closing 72 in the end. Oh, what a... Well, there was nothing wrong with his stroke there at all. Oh, would you believe it? Three putts from what? About three feet. Got to try and pull yourself together now because that will scramble his head. That's a, that is a horrid feeling when that happens. Plenty of pace now, steady. A little bit of work to do. Comeback par parts for McAvoy at nine. Oh, he's been punning so well too, but that was just a, a flat-out pull. Didn't scare the hole, unfortunately. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, just lack of concentration, lack of care. Oh. So a terrific second shot. Four putts later, it's a double. The pace that it'll be travelling at will eliminate such break, but it's all about hitting it firm enough uphill. Yeah, up the hill, into the grain, into the breeze. This is super slow. Can he improve on his Odyssey potting stats so far today? <laughs> I've never seen anybody do that, because well, he knew it was slow. He Three and a half feet short. Left to right, up the hill. Fringe is running at seven. Greens at eleven and a half. Oh dear. Four. Oh. Oh. Quickly turning into a bit of a nightmare for Shane Lowry. Well, it is. It's uh, goodness me. It's, uh, Fifteen minutes into his round, and it's going to be a long way back from here. Our true test of character now. We've got a par five to come. The second, so he could make amends. Oh, well, you don't say. Oh, this is just. Can I go back and start again, please? Good little pitch shot from Hovland, and surely. It's a little bit disconcerting. He missed a short putt last week on round three on the 18th green on Saturday. And he's gone and done that again today. I'd almost given him that one. There's nothing to, to worry him. Oh, that, that, now, that the, now there is. Uh, uh, that. Oh, I can't believe that. Well, you, you just rush. It, it, make, it makes you shudder, oh, doesn't it? The feeling that, I mean, he'll have right now will be horrendous. Tommy Fleetwood just to uh, tidy up at six. And he's now first, and I'll tell you why in a second. Fleetwood won't be feeling overly confident after that. What is going on, Tommy? Just pushing them, push after push. Well, I mean, this is just amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, when you're standing over this one, you're not very confident after the mm -hmm. last few misses. No, it's just uh, it's one you've just got to put your hands in to get just out of the blue. Uh, these little putts, when it's so windy, very difficult. Oh, you can just see that. We're gonna we're gonna see some real struggles today. That, I'm afraid, is a triple bogey seven for McElroy at the 14th. He dropped a shot at the 11th, a shotgun up ahead. Here in two, Adrian Moronk. It is slick down this hill. That is racing. Oh, that could be off the green and down the hill and away. Yeah, that's a, that's a big unforced error. Oh, my goodness. Mm. 
that's not an easy chip from down there. I wonder if he'll put it up the hill. A little bit of movement from left to right for this one. Oh, not as much as that, though. Three bars and a bogey for Alex Noren to start the day, not what he wanted. Well, out to five, Adrian Otegi. This is up and over. This is all about pace. It's going to go up the hill there. It's easy just to get that rolling away from you. And he has done that. Tricky one coming back. You know, some weeks we play where you really can't o can only go on one side of the flag. Here it's more about getting on the right side of them. One slips away there. It was a poor first spot. Major and Otegi. A red number on the scorecard for the South African. This for bogey for Adrian Otegi, and that's out of nowhere. For a big swing at the last. Gosh, we've seen some things today. Oh. to say there, I'm afraid that is finished. He won't be thinking straight at all there for walking off that green. Ryan Fox, remember, dropped a shot at the second. This for par at the third. Ouch. Well, that was actually more than a, a 360, wasn't it? You don't see that very often. I have to hit this hard. I don't think he has. I think that is a duff. He looked behind at something there. Well, a setback, a minor one. First drop shot of the day. <laughs> I think that's an, um, an embarrassed smile more than. Well, this could be Hovland's tournament right here. When you see that putt from there, it gives you an indication of how difficult the pitch up was from the putting surface, which is why I'm surprised he didn't bump it into the bank. I don't think he played a poor shot. I think he just played the wrong one. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.